Hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> I am Raluca. It's really weird for me to be speaking so bubbly and happy looking like this. But today I did the first Halloween look of this year. I'm so excited for Halloween season. I hope you are too because I'll be doing uh, some few more Halloween looks this year. This look really tasted my patience, but if you want to see how I did it, then just keep on watching. So today's look is inspired by Kristen Banks on Instagram. I'm going to insert the picture here. Make sure to check her out. She does a lot of beautiful Halloween looks and she's absolutely amazing and so talented. I'm going to first do my base and I'm going to speed you up a little bit. So it's going to be foundation, concealer, powder and brows. And I'll be right back to explain you the rest of the look. It's really not a hard look. It kind of requires a lot of patience and it's time consuming, but it's not that hard to do. So let's get started. Waste another day, eyes on my display. You say we need a change and I feel that you mean it. You mean it. But you're so right. We're losing track of time Buying things online and it's not like we need them We don't need them So can we just slow my base is done I'm going to move on to my eyes and I'm going to use this Ace Boutte Paradise Fallen palette. I'm going to start with this dark grey on a NYX 13 brush. I'm going to do a really simple smoky eye and I'm just stamping the color all over my eyelid and also applying it on my lower lash line. And now I'll use this lighter grey called Pure to blend this. And now I'll quickly do a wing liner. And next I'll add a black pencil to my waterline. This is the Boys and Berries Black Eye Pencil. Now I'm going to use some white face paint to draw the teeth and some details of the skull. And I'll use a detailed brush like this. I'll dip it in some water and then in the face paint. But I just realized that I need some kind of a guideline. So from the corner of my mouth, I'm going to draw some lines to kind of continue my mouth, let's say. the white face paint to also do my nose. Moving on, I'm going to take the Warrior 2 by Julia's Place and I'm going to use this black shade. Again, on a small detail brush. And I'm going to fill in between the teeth. Oh, this is intense. From here to here, I'll just try to fade the black. And I 
also use the black right here in the center, like where I created this first line. And now I'll use the white shadow to cover this entire mouth area, I mean the skin, in this area. Make it a little bit lighter. I forgot about the nose shading, so I'm going to go back to the black. For the fun part, I'm going to start adding rhinestones. Actually, I'm going to start with the little pearls and then the rhinestones. I'm using a little bit of dual lash glue to make them stick to my face. And with the back of the brush, I'm going to apply the pearls. switching to some smaller pearls and continuing to stick them to my face. This look is really testing my patience, but I'm going to move on and add some rhinestones. Again, I'll add like bigger ones, smaller ones. Oh, these are some really huge rhinestones. I'll add some here as well. And I'm also adding some on my chin to really frame the face. I think these are enough rhinestones for today. I'm going to add the contact lenses, wig and false lashes off camera and then I'll be right back. Okay, this is the look all complete. I'm feeling really weird right now because I see like a white screen in front of me. But I really hope you like it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. It really helps my channel a lot. And also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed already. I'll be doing some more Halloween looks, so stay tuned for that. I want to thank you so, so much for watching today's video and I hope I'll see you in my next one. Bye! I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul.